This is one of the most versatile tools in my low budget filmmaking toolkit. My name is Kevin Vodsek and this is The Filmmaker's Blog, a filmmaking channel dedicated to providing content based on its viewers' suggestions. So if you have any ideas, make sure to comment them in the comments section below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on your own suggested video. What if I told you that there is an alternative to a fill light that isn't a light at all? I'm talking about a reflector, and to be more specific, a five tool reflector. And if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend one. They are so versatile, and I use mine all the time to reflect, white bounce, flag, create a negative fill, and lately I've been using mine as a diffusion panel. In the past, I've used one light and a pair of reflectors to light an entire scene. It wasn't how I originally planned it, and it wasn't a walk in the park, but it worked. And the best part is, you can't even tell. What I want to show you guys today is how you can use this 5 tool reflector as a fill light and how each different side of the reflector affects your image. Not only will you get to see how this device can be used, but it will give you an idea if it's something that you would like to add to your filmmaking toolkit. Let's get into our five tool reflector lighting experiment. And just like any type of scientific experiment, we are going to have a control image and we are only going to change one variable in the image. And that is going to be the reflector. All of the lighting and all of the camera settings are going to stay the same. This is our control image. In this image, I am not using a reflector. We will be coming back to this shot periodically throughout the experiment to compare it to the later shots using the reflector. Since we are specifically discussing the fill light, I want you to concentrate on the fill side or the screen left of Ryan's face. By the way, my subject today is my brother Ryan. He runs the Lionbold YouTube channel about the music industry and music production. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to check him out. But now back to our experiment. Now let's bring in the reflector and how this is going Going to affect our control is that the reflector is going to bounce light from our key light back onto our subject creating the fill light. So let's see how the different sides of the reflector affect our image. In this shot I am using the silver side of the reflector and wow does it make a difference. It takes an extremely dark fill side and illuminates it. It still maintains a lower intensity compared to the key light and maintains the same color temperature. Color temperature will play a big role a little later in the video, but with the silver side, it completely lifts the fill side of Ryan's face. Next, we have the black side of the reflector, creating a negative fill. A negative fill is when you use a black fabric or solid to absorb light to make the subject's fill side appear darker. Since it's not adding any light, it's called a negative fill. This is a great way to make your image more dramatic without changing your lighting setup. Adding the negative fill to this image makes an absolutely massive difference following the silver side of the reflector. When compared to the silver reflector side, it's a big difference, but how much light is being taken away when we compare it to the control? Still, there is a noticeable difference in the blacks of the image. Ryan's fill side of his face is darker than the control with the negative fill. So now we've seen a reflector add light and we've seen it take it away. So now let's play with color temperature. Next, we are going to test the gold side of the reflector. Now let me know in the comments if you agree with me, but I believe that using the gold side of the reflector for this specific image is the most natural look we can achieve when compared to all the others. My reasoning has to do with color temperature. On screen right, I have my key set to daylight. On screen left, the practical is tungsten. This practical is causing a golden rim and therefore can be seen as motivation for the fill light. By using the golden side of the reflector, it is changing the temperature of the light bouncing off of it from the key light, from daylight to tungsten, before it hits the fill side of Ryan's face. With the fill light matching the warmth of the practical, I believe this side of the reflector is the best choice for this particular image. Let me know what you think in the comments. But the change in color temperature isn't the only thing that is happening in this image. The reflector is adding a substantial amount of light onto the fill side of the image compared to the control. When compared to the silver side of the reflector, it has a similar output. Lastly, the last side we are going to be testing for our reflector is the white bounce. The white bounce is best used for bouncing light from very powerful sources like the sun or a 1K or a 2K light. That way it actually bounces a respectable amount of light that can do something for your image. Regardless how powerful your source is, the white bounce won't give the same power or output that the silver or the gold bounce will give. And that just has to do with the material that it's made out of. 
In this situation, the Aperture Lightstorm we are using isn't powerful enough for the white bounce to have a very strong effect. However, the white bounce still bounces enough light to make a difference when compared to the control. It helps brighten the shadow side just enough to remove any close to black areas. And that completes our experiment of the amazing portable flexible fill light. And let me know in the comments how you feel about replacing a fill light with a reflector in your lighting scheme and what look you liked the best during our experiment. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Join the call sheet emailing list in the description below if you want free filmmaking training every single month. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss on any new videos that I post, even though you already know it's every Friday. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next Filmmakers Friday. Yeah, in the front row, kicking back old school trash like them.